Are you eating a sorbet? <laughs> no. What are you eating? Alrighty, Forkers, welcome back. My name is Adam Rubin, and this Friday is Valentine's Day. So whether or not you have somebody to spend it with, or you are single, whoop, whoop, you deserve a good meal. This meal is going to take less than 45 minutes to make, and it's going to range from an appetizer all the way up to dessert. So the appetizer is going to be a baguette with tomatoes, mozzarella, basil, and balsamic vinegar. So the main entree is going to be linguine with oven roasted cherry tomatoes, shrimp, and a cream reduction sauce. And then dessert is going to be a raspberry sorbet topped with champagne and black pepper. For the appetizer, you are going to need a baguette, tomatoes, basil, balsamic vinegar, mozzarella, and olive oil. For the pasta, you are going to need linguine, three fourths pound shrimp, one cup heavy cream, one and a half cups of cherry tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, lemon, and parsley and thyme. Lastly, for the dessert, you are going to need champagne, raspberry sorbet, and finely ground black pepper. Before you start with your appetizers, you're going to actually cook your cherry tomatoes first. All you're going to do is take your tomatoes, place them into a dish, take your olive oil, take your thyme sprigs, and peel the thyme right into the tomatoes. After you've taken your tomatoes, cover in olive oil, and place your thyme in it, you're going to take your garlic and smash it directly into the pan. So you're going to take your tomatoes, put it in the oven at 375 degrees for 25 minutes. Just until the skin starts to crack and get a little wrinkly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know! <laughs> so the tomatoes are in the oven. Water is being boiled for the pasta on the stove. Next, you have to deal with your appetizers. So what you're going to do, is take your baguette and cut it right down the middle. So it has two halves. A serrated blade is always easier to cut bread. Then you take your balsamic vinegar and olive oil and just brush a little bit on both sides. Chop down your tomatoes. Just take off the ends and just do nice thin slices. So take something that is oven safe or a baking sheet and actually prepare your appetizer on top of it. You're going to take your tomatoes and you're going to put them as a first layer of your appetizer. Because once these start to cook, they're going to release juice and the juice is going to run into the bread. Add a little salt to each one. Take your basil and place it over the tomatoes. So then take your mozzarella and take nice big chunks of it and just place it on top. Once you have created a masterpiece for an appetizer, you place it in the oven just with the tomatoes, preferably place it on the top shelf just until the cheese starts to melt and bubble. appetizer in the oven and while I was there the tomatoes were actually finished so I took them out and placed them on the stove. So after that you're going to then move on to your pasta. You're going to cook the pasta and then do the sauce separately. So the of making the sauce is to take your tomatoes and add your cream directly to the tomato. Now you're going to simmer this for about three to four minutes until it gets thick. While the sauce is simmering and reducing down to a thicker consistency, make sure you're trying it. Make sure you're taking a little spoonful, trying it out, adjusting the seasonings, maybe salt and pepper, you know, whatever you need into it. Make sure you're doing it now because you don't want to do it at the very end because it will not taste as good. So this is actually simmered down and ready for the next step, which is to add the shrimp. Now you just add the shrimp directly into it and you only cook this for about two to three minutes. 
So it's an extremely fast cooking time, so make sure everything else is ready to go after. So while the shrimp's cooking, add your parsley and your lemon juice and the lemon zest. Make sure you leave a little bit of the parsley out of the dish so you can top it off when you're finished. It'll make it look good. For that special someone. So, this is about finished. Let's deal with the pasta next. We're just going to strain it off, put some olive oil on it so it doesn't stick. Everything is ready. With appetizer, main entree, and we're going to get to the dessert after we are finished with this. Since it is Valentine's, we should make this dinner a little bit more special, you know? Formally plate your food and formally set your silverware. So I'm going to actually show you how to do that. To formally set a place at a dinner table, you take your appetizer silverware and you place it on the inside, a fork and a spoon, and then you take your dinner placeware and you put it on the outside. Then on top, you place a knife and then a spoon for a dessert. All right, and now to plate. You take your pasta, you put it in the middle, and you swirl it so it gives it some height so it looks good. Push in all the little stragglers. Then you take your sauce and you spoon it right on top. Now if you really wanted to make it look good, you take the shrimp and you adjust them. Then to top it off, you sprinkle a little bit of your leftover parsley. And then if you would like, you can take a lemon wedge, set it right on along the side, give it a little color, and finally you take your bread and just place it on top. This is the best way to play. This will get you tons and tons of points, which you can cash in later. To end your special evening, you need a dessert, something that will cleanse your palate for later. This is a three ingredient dessert. Champagne, raspberry sorbet, and pepper. Yeah, pepper. What you do is you take your sorbet in a glass and you just do a couple of those. So just a little bit of pepper. Next, you add in the champagne. That's where you bust out the big guns. <laughs> this is how you serve it to impress somebody. But if you're alone on Valentine's and don't have anybody to impress, this is actually how you're supposed to serve it. Mm. Best part about the dessert is all the leftover champagne. Comes in handy, especially if you're single. That is it for this week's Food to Fork Valentine's special video. I hope you do enjoy your Valentine's and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a huge thumbs up, then go and comment, subscribe, as well as share this video. And I will see you next time. Wait, say it again, say it again. Say, I will see you next time. Oh! Adam! You were always talking, I have to yell over there you. you. Don't. And then there you don't. we have to do it another three or four times because you laugh. No, you know what? If yes, you're gonna yes. Time, one of these times we're going to do a 30 minute one and you're going to see, see how many times you no, come up and I no. have to redo the whole thing. Just be Wait, actually, can you repeat that because I was messing around with the camera. Okay, do it again because I was laughing. Start your pasta Wait, water. let me start it on your face. No, 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 no. On Wait, there, let me, but for let the balsamic start. vinegar. Well, wait, okay, say it again. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so set your bread. Well, wait. So the first step in your tomatoes. Actually, wait, stop, because that light's really white. Out. <laughs> Good. Yeah. All right, so. Wait, sorry. It's a little bit crooked. <laughs> All right, so it's simmer. Wait, wait, you gotta get in the shot. There you go. Okay, actually, so. Wait, wait, let me actually get. Sorry. <laughs> Next, you add in the champagne. Wait, can you say it again? Because I might have been talking. Next, you add in your champagne. I was talking. Can you? Do that?